Hello, I'm Brad Dixon with BigYield.us. A typical process to transition from conventional to organic, the NOP states that there must be 36 months between the last prohibited substance applied to the field uh, from that time till the harvest of the first organic crop. You would start your transition at the end of a harvest because on conventional uh, crops, let's say soybeans or corn you were growing um, of a conventional variety, you would spray those with a prohibited substance, uh, let's say July, somewhere in there, uh, would probably be the last time you would apply anything. So after that, nothing, nothing prohibited is applied. So really the last prohibited substance was applied on July. So 36 months from July is when you could harvest your first organic crop. Well, as long as you don't plant wheat on that third year, which maybe could be harvested you know, in, in June, and then it would not be an organic wheat. As long as you planted uh, soybeans or milo or corn, any of those crops would be harvested after that July. So 36 months would be July. So anything harvested after that could be sold and certified as an organic crop. Every organic operation uh, must be inspected every year, whether it's crops, livestock, or a processor. Everyone that's certified gets inspected every year. Certification is based on a calendar year. So January through December, you, you may get inspected, let's say in March of one year, and the next year you may not get inspected until October. So you went basically a year and a half, but your certificate is good through the calendar year. There's approximately 50 certifiers in the United States. Uh, most of the time you would just start uh, Googling and looking at, at different certifiers, maybe some that are in your area, or talk to some other organic farmers that are using certifiers that they're happy with, and um, visit with them a little bit, see if, the, see if they, they fit your operation. Uh, you don't have to use one that's in your state or close to you. You can use any certifier across the United States. Um, they will send you an initial certification, basically telling them everything about your operation and what you're planning to do and then they will send you a packet of documents to fill out based on what you're gonna do, whether it be a processing uh, facility, a crops facility, or a livestock facility. Um, you'll fill it out from there and tell them what you're planning on using as far as inputs and um, your whole process of, of how organic product is gonna maintain integrity uh, from the time you receive it or the time you grow it until it leaves your possession. Um, at that point, they will uh, schedule you an inspection. An inspector will come and go over all of your paperwork, um, make sure that everything is uh, in place and that you have authorization to use the inputs that you used uh, from your certifier. And uh, all of your records are in place as far as uh, sales, harvest, um, purchase records and invoices. And then they will do a, a mass balance and a trace back. Uh, a trace back is basically a recall system. You must have all the records in place uh, to prove that if a recall was to take place or something that you sold was rejected, you can trace it back as far as you can, all the way back to the seed or the feed field that it came from. Uh, if it came from a bin where multiple fields were in, you'll know uh, by your harvest records what all fields were in that bin. So all of those fields then would get a soil test or a tissue sample to find out which field was contaminated. Uh, a lot of new operations, if they don't have someone, uh, a, a good friend or a close neighbor that has been through the process, will hire a consultant. A lot of inspectors are consultants on the side. Um, obviously, you can't inspect somebody that you consulted for at least a year. But there's a lot of questions in the, in the, um, the paperwork that they send you as far as runoff and buffers and borders and whether to, to plant it in grass or fence rows and, and neighbors and things like that, that um, a person wouldn't know unless they were, they were asking those questions to an inspector or a, a certifying agency. That's kind of the basis of, of what it takes to transition from uh, conventional to organic. If you have any other questions, feel free to call us here at Big Yield. Thank you.